Now that we've removed our tissue culture from the gel, let's go ahead and trim it and wash it really well. So you can use a pair of scissors, or if you're like me, you can just pull them off. It's not gonna hurt the plant. They are not as delicate as most people think. So you can just pull them off. You wanna pull off any of the lower leaves. Honestly, it doesn't really matter the plant to us. We always remove everything but the two top leaves. Um, it's just where we see the best success because you don't want the plant worrying about any of these lower. And you can see even right here, it's even starting to push out a little aerial root. So let's rinse this off now. As we said before, this is gonna be the most important step. You wanna make sure that all of this agar gel has been completely removed. We prefer to use it under running water. That way you're always using fresh water that's touching the tissue culture. A lot of people will soak them. They'll put them in a jar of water, which is totally fine. And then from there, and I think this is a great example. As you can see, I just accidentally broke off a little piece of the root while I was watching it. That's okay. These are so thoroughly rooted and they root so unbelievably easy that it's not gonna harm the plant if you break off just a little bit of the roots while you're cleaning it. It's definitely more important to get off all of the agar gel than to worry about breaking a root or two. So right now I am just thoroughly cleaning it. A great rule of thumb is if you think the plant has been cleaned enough, clean it about three more times. So right now I'm still gonna rinse it just once more. I can still feel just a tiny bit of slime on these leaves and on these roots right here, especially here at the end. So now I'm gonna make sure that I rinse it probably two or three more times. Follow along and see the next step in acclimating and deflasking your tissue culture.